Experimental testing has obviously had a huge impact on the field of development economics, we think very much for the better. At the same time, there have been a lot of critiques and concerns raised about this movement, which we interpret less as criticisms of RCTs per se, um, and more as concerns about the scale at which experiments are typically conducted. There's a real risk of getting the answer fundamentally wrong if we don't make that investment in large-scale program evaluation size of the population for which our results are represented. We want to be able to provide answers that tell us about the effects on large populations, national populations, and care. Two is the scale at which we're implementing the intervention. Because we all know that when you do things at a small scale, it's easier to get them right, and that a lot of complexity and messiness comes up as you implement things at large scale. So we start trying to teach millions of kids instead of hundreds or thousands of kids. And then the third, which is the most subtle, is the scale at which we're randomizing units into treatment or control. If we're looking uh, at individuals, we may be able to see how they respond to the treatment, but we're not going to see how markets respond to those in turn. There are lots of ways in which we could make our small experiments more informative about what's likely to happen at scale. One very simple example is to provide more information about the populations that we're looking at and how they compare to the larger populations that we care about. It's very common now in an experimental paper to have a balance test that looks at whether the treatment and control group are the same, but you could also check whether the population you're studying looks similar to the population of the country or the district. Thinking about what's going to happen as you scale and what the binding resource constraints are likely to be could be useful. It's helpful to provide enough information about the cost structure, for example, to understand whether unit costs are likely to change a lot as the intervention scales up or or whether there's some key resource that's going to become scarce. And to use a little bit of economic theory and perhaps a bit of structural modeling to think about how the behavioral responses that we might see in a small-scale experiment um, could affect markets and prices at larger scales. So for example, if we see that an intervention changes labor supply at the household level, can we combine that with what we know about the elasticity of labor demand to think about how wages would likely change in the aggregate economy if we delivered that intervention to everyone? The bottom line for us is simple. Uh, we think that randomized controlled trials have done enormous good and are going to continue to do so, but that we think we could do a lot more as well if more of them were done at larger scales.